Hi, this is Chris and welcome to Winemaker TV. Today we'll be taking our cider making skills to the next level, so stay tuned. Today we're going to be upping our cider making skills up a notch by making a three gallon batch of a apple, a hard apple cider. So let's go over what you'll need real quick. Why is it going to be up in our game? Because we're going to be adding three pounds, three pounds of fresh apples to it. All right, so we got three pounds of apples. I'm going to go with two gallons of just bottle quality apple juice. And to bump up the alcohol content a little bit, I always like to add one cup of sugar per gallon. So I'm going to be adding three cups of sugar today. I prefer light brown sugar, but I didn't have any. So if you don't have something, just go with it. Whatever you make will be better than anything you'll buy in the store. So I got three cups, three cups of white sugar, just plain table sugar. And we're going to need some cheese cloth. I got my three get three and a half gallon fermenting bucket here and to chop all these apples up I got a ninja this is a beast word of caution be careful of that blade because it will cut I know it's cut me up and today we'll be using some red star premier cuvee so let's get started all right my first step is going to be I'm just going to add my sugar to my fermenting bucket just to get it out of the way and I'm going to set my fermenting bucket aside with the bowl aside so we can focus on these apples like I said this ninja is a beast so be careful so make sure you get stems off you can put any juice that you have away right now so, and you're going to need a bowl, a fairly good sized bowl. So I'm just going to cut these up just a touch. And I just put seeds in all. I don't worry about all that. It'll give it some mouthfeel, some tannins, the core. It will also give it some mouthfeel and some tannins. And I already washed these. I didn't de-stem them though. But I, w I went ahead and pre-washed these so y'all don't have to see me washing apples on, on the camera. But I guess you can watch me cut them up, I guess. Just as interesting, I guess. So I'm going to fill this back up and we'll be right back. Alright, got it full. So I'm going to add a little juice to it. So it'll make it... So it'll just blend easier if you add a little juice to it. We'll put the top on this thing, and like I say, you'll see this thing is a beast. All right, here we go. We finally got it going. Now, as you can see, this thing is going to be a beast. You just pulse it a little bit, pulse it a little bit. All right. So, set that a little side a little bit. And we got our cheesecloth, so I'm gonna line this bowl with some cheesecloth. I'm gonna try to line this bowl with some cheesecloth. There we go. Just dump it in. All right, and we're going to do this for the rest of the three pounds of apples, and we'll be right back. All right, we got that three pounds of apples cut up, and see the juice. But you got to realize some of that juice. I'll say some. A lot of the juice is from the bottle juice I got, and I've decided I'm going to. I'm going to double wrap this in two layers of cheesecloth just in case because I'm going to press it a little bit get some of that juice out so you can just 
start twisting it. <laughs> Sound like somebody having to take a leak. So squeeze it out as good as you can. And just drop it in there. And add the rest of the juice to it. Now, when I say these are um, three pounds of apples, you can use any apples, store-bought apples you like. These were just golden delicious. I like those. So, so that's what I'm going to use. So your rest of your remaining bottle juice, just shake, give it a good shake. One down. I got my fermenter marked with one gallon, two gallon, three gallon, three gallon marks. So make sure you're up to the three gallon line. If not, you might have to add a little bit more than two gallons. This one is right at that line. So we're good. We got our three gallons. So I'm going to stir this up now. Got to get that sugar. Remember, we added three cups of sugar and it's on the bottom. Also, we're going to add some oxygen into our musk. So I'm going to continue stirring this and we're going to be right back. We got it all stirred up so I'm going to add a Camden tablet to it and we'll be back tomorrow to wrap things up. So it takes 24 hours. All right, all right, all right. It's been 24 hours. So last step is to add the yeast. So again, we got Red Star Premier Cuvée. And just you can just sprinkle it over the top. Put your, put your top on so no gnats or whatnot to get in here. And I am going to go ahead and add my airlock. Give it that little added protection so no gnats. This is this is Georgia in the south, so we got gnats down here size of mothballs. that's it we we'll be, be right back that's it so we're gonna be right back to wrap things up all right we're gonna take a quick gravity reading and it's at one one point zero seven five so that's about nine and a half percent alcohol that's gonna be a good cider right there gotta be careful with that one it might uh creep up on you a little bit so we're gonna uh that should be start fermenting in a day or two, last up to seven to ten days. Um, after that, we're going to rack it off to a carboy, three gallon carboy, and I'll show you how to do that. And then a couple of weeks following that, once it all settles and clears, we're going to bottle it. And like, if you uh, follow my channel, you'll know that I love sparkling cider. Always have my spikers, <laughs> my spiders, always have my cider sparkling. So I'm going to be bottling up bottle conditioning and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you like what you see here, smash that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know every time I have a bright idea and come out with a new cider or wine. Also, there's uh, Amazon affiliate links in the description below. If you click any of those links, it will help to go buy ingredients and equipment for me. So this is Chris with Winemaker TV and that's all there is today.